Okay, so this video is to help you calculate how many calories your body needs to get into a calorie deficit. So I'm gonna take you through this step-by-step -step approach. You can work it out yourself. Step one, we want to calculate our basal metabolic rate. So this is how many calories your body burns at rest. So if you're doing absolutely nothing at all, this is how many calories the body would need. We want to calculate our body weight in pounds and then times it by 10. So the example I've used is 150 pounds uh, and then times that by 10 equals us 1500. Step two, we need to choose an activity level and I give you these examples so you can choose which one suits you best. Each one has a multiplier, so we'll have to choose one of those multipliers in a second. So sedentary, you sit down all day, do no exercise. Low activity, you sit down most of the day but are exercising one to two times. Moderate activity, so you sit down most of the day, but exercise you know, three to four times a week, or you're on your feet all day and you exercise once or twice. High activity, so sit down most of the day and exercise five to seven days, or you're on your feet all day and exercise three to four. And the last one, very high activity, so it's a very physical job and exercising four to six days on top of that. So each one of these has a multiplier. You need to choose which one suits you best. Let's say now we've got our multiplier. We're now going to calculate your total daily energy requirement or expenditure. So the example I've used is so we have 1,500 before, that's our BMR, times by 1.55, so that's moderate, giving us 2,325 calories. We know this as maintenance calories, so you're not trying to gain weight, you're not trying to lose weight, for vitality, you know, lots of high energy, this is what you would do, but you wouldn't be losing any body fat. So the final step is to create your deficit. We're going to reduce your calories by 500 and 750 to give you a range. So 2,325 minus the 500 gives us 1,825 calories. I do the same thing again with 750, that gives us 1,575. And there is your range of calories to hit to ensure that you get your calorie deficit and you're losing the fat that you want. The final step is if you're going to use an app, I would probably recommend MyFitnessPal. It's easy to use and it's quick to learn. And then you can put your calories in there and focus on hitting those calories. So if you're doing this for the first time, good luck. And again, if you need any of that support, any help, feel free to kind of give me questions. Thanks again.